What's going on everybody? It is Mr. Arrow HD here and we are here with personal projects in a video for some reason I've been putting off for the longest time and I don't know why. It's just something that I've been on the back burner, something I've been meaning to do. And this time I actually searched my videos to see if I've done it before. And I don't know why I haven't done it before, but it's now been done. Um, so this is the Ford SVT Raptor. So it's a Ford F-150 with a bit of off-roady things on it. Um, this is actually, tune is actually in my storefront if you guys are interested. It's the car, one of the first storefront cars I made. Um, one of the first ones I put out when I started to get pretty big. I think it was over a thousand subscribers I put this out for. Um, but okay, this has over 900 horsepower and there's a reason for that. It's because I'm driving a truck. That's why. Um, so I broke my 650 horsepower rule. Uh, it's still running, I think, stock tires. I don't know the tire widths or whatever. Small tires because I don't like trucks with huge wheels, especially when I see people running this Raptor in online lobbies. They're usually running it, the wheels as big as they can go, and it looks ridiculous. So I kept it stock wheel size, but it's going to hinder me. Because I don't like big wheels. I don't like our small wheels and big tire width. I don't Not width, but like the distance between the, uh, the rim and the edge of the tire for whatever reason i don't know what that's called because i'm probably a fucking retard and people are gonna oh Kira, it's obviously called this uh whatever i don't know it's yeah it's like a really thick tire wall there we go i'm retarded <laughs> um so it's it's definitely hindering the, the handling of the, of the vehicle but for what it is this is actually a lot of fun and really really good um, the Raptor is super stable. You'll see there's not a lot of flicking back and forth here. Uh, it almost looks like at some points I'm on a wheel, which I'm not. Um, I'm on a controller, of course, if you don't know that, for those who are going to ask. They're probably still going to ask in this video. Uh, very, very controllable, very, very stable. Just, I don't know, I probably have a lot of, uh, tire pressure in the rear, because it feels skatey, if you know what I mean. It feels icy. It just, like, usually most of my cars have lots and lots of grip, and then the power overcomes that grip and you know you're, you're you're always in kind of in control when you're sliding this one just feels out of control but it's fun i do enjoy it um it's a little floppy you know that's a con but it does add to its stability and this car is super fun to run for points uh, i'm not i'm not a huge advocate for points i'm not one of those guys that says oh points drifting is the best yo uh, I only do it because it's a really easy medium for me to be able to post drifting content, uh, make it, give you guys some sort of, um, thing where, like, you can see how I'm comparing against other, other people, and it's not just me drifting on the same track every day, so, yeah, so, <laughs> it's not a pretty decent points car, it's not, like, the best in the world, because it doesn't have that much power when it, you put, like, power to weight, but it's definitely fun to drive, and its speed won't matter if you're not tandeming that makes sense i'm just driving around here and i really just i lost myself in just driving it it was really fun um very very smooth actually really easy to handle the only issues i think i have with it it's, it's slow but it's that's never going to change and i think the gearing can be fiddled with a bit just to make it a little bit better but all in all this is really fun for what it is and if you don't have a stupid money amount of money in forza 4a you should um i suggest go trying it because it's really fun you may have uh you may run into a car that you'll have a lot of fun with if you get bored using the same old, same old. So thank you guys for watching, uh, and I'll see you next time.